Hello there and welcome to this virtual tour of the Sprouston Community Allotment. So here we begin in a very beautiful woodland which surprisingly is still very much part of the school grounds here at Sprouston Community Academy. And the local primary school also used this area too and rightly so. As you can see it's a really tranquil, very beautiful, very peaceful place and therefore it's the ideal place for students and teachers to visit uh, during the school day just to enjoy some peace and quiet and it really is the perfect opportunity to experience some temporary escapism. Up ahead is the main allotment area so we'll be visiting that in a moment. Now to our left is a young pioneering woodland so it's great to share this with the young people as an example uh, compared to the more mature woodland where we started. Uh, this is the up and coming pond area, hopefully will be finished by the end of the academic year. A local parent very kindly lent us a digger to dig that out and all of the soil has been reused in the school allotment itself. Up ahead here is the orchard area. Now on your screens you should see what this area used to look like before the Papillon project came to help this school. Now up ahead are some deliberately left wild areas apart from a few gaps where benches will go. Now these areas have been left to grow deliberately because it's very important to show children and young people what happens when you just leave nature to it. Now each of these young fruit trees have what we call the tree guild around them. This is to stop the grass from uh, growing to the base of the tree uh, and also it provides an opportunity to plant in good time nitrogen fixing plants such as borage and comfrey to support the growth of these young trees. So as you can see by comparison it looks much better than it did when we arrived. So here is the what we call the curved rainbow bed. Now this curved rainbow bed actually follows the direction of the sun through a careful observation every day. So here we have some strawberries enjoying life and what appears to be a deep space sleeping chamber is actually some shower doors which will provide a makeshift greenhouse for these strawberries to enjoy some warmth. Uh, rhubarb enjoying life out of, a, out of a toilet there seems very happy. Many of these bathtubs, this one in particular has comfrey growing in it, a great one for a school allotment, perfect for making compost. Now lots of these bathtubs were fly tipped or donated great to show upcycling at any school allotment. Now these raised beds are above the ground because the soil quality below was incredibly poor. Lots of rubble, lots of brick. Rhubarb crowns, certainly very much alive there. Fruit cage, again, built from things that we found lying around. This is Harris fencing, our building fencing. Strawberries, raspberries, red currants, enjoying life inside here. Now up ahead here are some leaf mould bins and composting bins and mulching bins and manure areas. Now these are very important to build because they help to organise an allotment site. Lots of this manure has been donated locally to support this project. We'll be coming back to the raised beds in a moment. And as we come into the polytunnel here you'll see to your left we have some French beans and tomatoes growing in here. And on your screens now you'll see what this polytunnel used to look like uh, when we arrived really back in July but most of the work started in September 2019. So we've come a long way since then uh, but there still remains a little bit more work to do inside to get this back to its former glory. We were successful with a grant which we used to help to repair and recover this polytunnel, a brilliant asset to this project. Now the fencing doesn't look the most aesthetically pleasing uh, thing in this allotment but the uh, a student was able to obtain 400 trees from the Woodland Trust and we planted them along there so in time they'll grow up to perform a beautiful uh, hedgerow. Now on your screens are what these raised beds used to look like before the Papillon project arrived and lots of the sixth form students worked incredibly hard to clear all of these and almost all of them have something growing in them from runner beans to potatoes which you can see are starting to grow up here. Notice we use a lot of mulching here, uh, very important to use mulching uh, to keep the moisture in the soil and to help keep the weeds at bay 
As you can see here, these broad beans doing incredibly well and enjoying being blown about by the wind. This is the seating area, very important to have these in school projects like this allotment because it's very important to provide areas for children to enjoy their lunch. And as you can see, some of the raised beds have coloured bands around them to help children identify which raised bed you're talking about. Thanks very much for enjoying and watching this uh, tour of the Sprouston Community Allotment.